Hello and welcome to Think Share. My name is Zach here to bring to what I've been thinking about, sharing about, talking about, listening to, reading about that doesn't belong in math class. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. Yeah, I forgot, messed up the intro again. Either way, um, tomorrow, well, I guess it's today since it just clocked midnight. I'm looking forward to a collaboration with Alexander DeLuca. He is a YouTuber that lives in Boston. And uh, the way I found him originally was, hey, Dexy, hey, Kelly. Um, I, I found a video of his vlog from the, the Boston Pride Parade, which I went to um, back in June. Hey, Tori. And I think um, I, I really like the way that he did that. And I really like the way that he put all together. So I reached out to him and said, hey, would you like to do a collaboration of some sort? And I said, yes, let's do one. I want to hold free hug signs in public. Now, we've been texting back and forth today, realizing that might not work out to do that. Um, reason being, because it's probably going to be raining all day. So I think we're probably going to be, I'm going to be meeting up at his place. And um, we're probably going to do some sort of interview or Q&A or something. We're not quite sure what, but um, still looking forward to, to working with him and uh and finding some awesome stuff to do um also i thought i would i would show you guys something that i'm kind of excited about um and a book that i i recently i just got on audible that i've been listening to the past half an hour and then realized it was midnight and it's time to go live because uh missing the rest of the day um hey dev um Dexia, yeah, I don't know anything about what your channel is, so to shout you out, I would uh, probably need to know a little bit about that. Um, and I don't think I've ever met you, and I think this is maybe your first time on my stream. I, 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 I can't say that I've, I've met you before. Um, so one of the things you might notice behind me is a little bookshelf. Um, I've recently moved uh, the place I'm going to be probably shooting a bunch of my videos and I really wanted to have sort of the ambiance that um, both Ty Lopez and Gary Vaynerchuk had which is um, sort of a small library behind them um, Ty Lopez is like behind him is like a giant bookcase with tons of books like his books in his like freaking garage or something and uh, Gary Vaynerchuk he has a bunch of books he has like a bunch of merch and has a bunch of cool stuff kind of spread out all over the place. So I'm hoping that I can get a little bit of the ambiance that he's created. Uh, but these are, uh, I feel a little weird having some of the books up there because I know I haven't read them, but I've bought them and I want to read them. Um, and the other kind of funny part is that, uh, oh no, I know I met you, Kelly. Um, but the other thing is I just recently got this book Alexa, resume. We have a goal, a calling, a new beginning. Every great journey begins here. Yet far so this too is many my, of us never reach our intended my destination. Dot. More I can't say that out loud because otherwise it'll stop. We build ourselves but, um, up with fantastic stories. This is the new tech that we I just got and I've been playing out. with it today. We let our and star uh, I just bought this new book. To fizzle out. Alexa. We have no idea. What book am I listening to? Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. Via why? Alexa, pause. So I'm excited to be using her. Uh, I'm excited to be using this. Um, and the book that I've been listening to is Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. Yes, that is. Again, I don't want to say it. Actually, no, I can just mute it. Yes, that is an Amazon Alexa. Um, that I'm excited to be using. I, I'm I'm planning on making, starting to have my own listen to the daily briefings. Oh my God, she's so annoying. Why do you have one, Kelly? Um, I'm planning on creating Alexa skills so that when people have daily uh, briefings, I can create something that, that people might find useful. Um, it's called, I want to create something called like an actionable quote. So I feel like people love their quotes, but a lot of people don't do anything about them, including myself. So I wanted to create a sort of a quote of the day, but like a challenge or uh, an action that people can specifically do um, to actually take that, take that idea, that, that wisdom, that inspiration and turn it into action. 
I did, but then I threw it against the wall. Don't ask why. I would feel weird having one because it is always listening. I imagine that I'll either get used to it or I'll hate it, but I'm sure out there that have them that have gotten used to them. But one thing I do kind of like is the fact that it's better than, it seems a lot better than Siri. Hey, Sleep Master, uh, please give us an update on last night. So for those that weren't here last night, um, we ended up sort of coming together as a community and, and helping out Sleep Master with one of the challenges challenges that they're facing. Um, but yeah, so the the book that I just got, Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Halliday, um, you know, one of the things in my, you know, it's kind of cut to my core the other day, um, it was about a week and a half ago or so, was that Alyssa has a, con my wife has a concern that um, the time that I spend on YouTube um, is sort of egotistical. So some of you may have noticed I've been bringing up concerns recently, uh, more recently and more frequently that I'm, I'm trying to be more mindful of who I'm being on these, on the channel here. Um, looking to see where I can be providing value versus, you know, Hey, my name's Zach, look at me. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how, how to really be authentic, how to share things authentically versus like that are sort of impressive or um, sort of showing off. So I'm happy to hear your suggestions about it all. Um, one of the things I've started to do is only ask people for likes and dislikes and comments and shares and stuff. At the very end, I try to just ask for it once because I feel like the self-promotion um, that's one of the things that I think a lot of people get caught up in. And I know it turns me off um, and I don't want to be that kind of person. And I think it's, I feel like they're being egotistical. So I'm, I'm doing my best to sort of lead by example and not do it myself. Um, so one of the things I think I'm going to start doing is sharing at least one of my insecurities every day. I think that if I'm sharing authentically one of my insecurities every day, that is something that will help me grow as a person, help me um, allow all of you to be, to gather something from it, see me as a person and not a personality or um, like a figurehead or something. I'm not really sure the word I'm looking for here, but um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to share more of my insecurities, be a bit more vulnerable um, because I think that's, if I'm doing that, I think I'll be shying away from the the ego aspect that's really easy to think to get caught up in um, and that I've been trying to be more in an inquiry with whether I'm in it or not. Sleep Master says, the update, yeah, they made up and finally quit fighting each other for a while after we threatened to call the cops on them. All right, so my next question would be what kind of um, structures or what's in place for the future if and or when it happens again. Um, have you talked to your parents about the possibility of if it happens again, what will happen? Um, and another idea I might even suggest is while they're calm, while they're cool, while they're collected, while they're not mad, while they're really you know loving their child, ask them, please, if you guys are about to get in a fight, would one of you like would you consider and or promise handing your child off to my parents or to me or something so that you guys can do what you got to do to get over, get through things um, and not put the baby in danger at all? Uh, that would be my, th that's something I'm thinking that could help because maybe if they make a promise while they're calm and thinking logically and thinking well of each other, um, it's more likely they might, engage in a safer practice similar to that. Hey, Hell Kitten. I believe MKBHD did a video testing all the voice operated AIs and it said Lex was the worst and Google Home was the best. Dang it. I, I, was, um, I was trying to decide which one to do, LX or Google Home, and I feel like there's just a ton of different there's a ton of conflicting opinions about it. So obviously MKBHD is not one of the reviews that I saw. So um, they're not that expensive. So worse that happens is uh, 
I hold on to it and I, I end up getting another, uh, getting a Google home at some point. Um, Hell can uh, scroll up in the chat and uh, Sleep Master answered that. And I, I just recommended that um, Sleep Master come up with a solution while they're calm and collected, uh, asking them to like hand off the baby, put them in a different space, like try to not let the baby be in the middle of it all for next time. Um, but yeah, so I think the, uh, as I said, I would share, I'm going to start sharing some insecurities every day. I think one thing that I'm pretty insecure about is I feel like oftentimes I really need to portray someone that has it all together. So, you know, I think, the Think Share is a channel that is meant to uplift, empower, and create a safe environment for other people to share and to grow. And if I come on here and I don't have my stuff together, normally I would say the SHIT, but I really, I'm trying to not swear on here because um, I want to keep it P, as PG as possible. I think that if I show that I don't have it together, that people won't care what I have to say people will not um, believe in what I have to say and like it, if I were to be doing something that's opposite of what I wrote about in my book that people will call me a fraud and a fake and I, I think that's the the one of the scariest things that that I kind of go through in making YouTube videos is that specific not being judged in general but that specific judgment I think is one of the things that scares me the most is being called fake or being phony or um, being someone that that people don't believe in. I, I feel like I'm a pretty honest person. So for for me to be considered those things would probably mean that I'm lying. So I think uh, like the, there's one thing that I'm going to be sharing in I've, I've been holding on to it. I'm not going to share it tonight because I want to sort of script it. I want to make sure that I'm not irresponsible with the information I'm sharing. But um, there's one thing that that's been tough. Some of my really good friends know, um, but that I haven't shared with my YouTube community yet. So in the coming days, I'll be sharing something with you that's the, the most insecure out of pretty much anything that I'm just I'm not ready to share with y'all yet. So. Um, feels horrible even just saying that. So I guess I'll kind of leave it there, but the, I'm, I'm hoping that the book that I've got ego is the enemy is going to help me identify when I am coming from ego and when I'm coming from sort of a, a truer, deeper um, self that is not trying to just get attention, but really wants to do good in the world. And I'm always a little bit afraid that I am just trying to get attention versus do good in the world. So, um, you know what? I'm, I'm going to invite you all. If you feel like I am being a, an attention mongrel, um, call me out on it. Um, that scares the poop out of me to say out loud. But I, if you feel like I'm being that way, I, I want you to consider calling me out on it. Um, because that's one of the things that I can imagine myself becoming and I'm scared of it. Um, and I don't. It, it almost reminds me of the Batman quote, uh, although it's not, I mean, it's not quite applicable, but it's like you either die a hero or you li live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Um, and it's, it, I think the idea of having a YouTube channel long enough that you're successful enough that you start humble and then you eventually um, become something different and become an attention wrong girl. It's like, that's, that's living long enough to see yourself become the villain. So, and the other thing I feel like I've heard from like Tim Ferriss from other people is that the people that are humble that have these kind of social media followings, like, you know, they, they pause and then they, they step out to have a life outside of this and, and they disappear from the public eye for times. So I feel like that's sort of the, the dying dying to be a hero so in my eyes i feel like being a hero is continuing to be a humble person that people can look up to rather than look at as 
someone that is um, just really egotistical. Not everyone in the world needs a place to vent and rant about their lives without judgment. That's true. I think a lot of people do. So, yeah, I'm going to keep tonight short. Um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow's experience with Alex. Um, thank you all for listening. I, I ended up sleeping till noon today, which I'm pretty embarrassed about. Um, I just I didn't set an alarm, and I just wasn't feeling well, and my back hurt. So I just kind of slept in, and I don't feel good about it. I'm probably have to take some sleeping pills tonight um, to actually fall asleep right now because I've been up for 12 hours. And that's it. So I'm going to call it a night. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. If you dislike this, give it a dislike. If you think someone would gain something from it, share with them. That's all for tonight. Stay weird.